Nigeria are becoming more and more and more resistant to conventional antibiotics in the last few years. Uh, well, actually, I think you might have seen in the news, maybe newspapers or TV, that some people are dying because uh, they were infected by a bacteria that was resistant to all the known antibiotics, and that's really difficult to treat. So <clears throat> that's why, like, this is like a really serious issue, and it's really important to find new alternatives to antibiotics because <clears throat> if not, we're heading to a post-antibiotic era in which, like, just an injury or a simple infection, just just, just a cold, can even kill us. Like, we will be coming back to before the discovery of antibiotics. So that's why this is so important, and I want like everyone to know that this is something like really, really important to to do research on it because well, it will save a lot of lives. Um, well, just um, just as I said before, the way I'm proposing to uh, replace antibiotics will be doing the so-called phage therapy which means using bacteriophages as alternative as antibiotics. And some of you might be wondering what's an, a bacteriophage? And a bacteriophage is a virus that only infects bacteria, but very specifically, like they don't infect human cells or anything. It's so, like they just infect bacteria. And every bacteriophage infects uh, a specific type of bacteria. So they're like really, really, really specific. Um, those bacteriophages, they were discovered in the early 20th century, but um, they were started to be used as a therapeutic agent in the First World War. Um, they, they were really effective like, for healing injuries and stuff like that. But then, in the 50s, with the discovery of antibiotics, like, they were not interesting anymore, like, since penicillin was, like, so revolutionary and it saved so many lives, like, there was no point in continuing, like, trying to investigate these bacteriophages. And, well, the word bacteriophage actually literally means bacteria eater. So, the thing is that these viruses what they do is that they attach the specific bacteria, they insert the DNA into the bacteria, and they produce a lot of new viral particles. And the only way out they have these new viral particles is to break the cell and to be released. So as a result of a bacteriophage infection, the bacteria dies. So that's what we want. That's why they can be used as a therapeutic agent because they actually kill bacteria. So, yeah, for my PhD, I'm working with a specific kind of bacteriophages that infect a specific bacteria because, as I said, bacteriophages are so, so specific. I like antibiotics that they can kill like every type of bacteria with a bacteriophages kill one specific. So, for example, if you were treated with bacteriophages, uh, you wouldn't have the side effects that you will have with antibiotics. Because antibiotics can also kill your beneficial bacteria inside your body, producing side effects such as diarrhea because they kill like your intestinal bacteria. But with bacteriophages, it's just like if you're infected with a staph virus, just goes to kill that one. And actually, Staphylococcus aureus is the bacteria I'm working with. Um, well, actually, it's not a pathogenic bacteria per se. It's just a common inhabitant in our skin and nose. Um, but when we are in one of the breasts because we're sick, we have another infection, or we have an injury or something like that, the Staph aureus, like, it's like, okay, now it's my turn to infect. Now I can just... Go, go into your soft tissue and cause a lot of damage. And, well, as you might be guessing now, this bacteria has developed a lot of resistances to antibiotics, to many different antibiotics. So that's why 
such a good candidate to develop phage therapy with it. And what I'm doing in my PhD is trying to understand a little bit better phage biology, like how a bacteriophage and um, sapphires interact and what is making this bacteriophage to be more effective, effective killing the bacteria. And to do that, what I, what I usually do is to isolate new bacteriophages that haven't been described before and comparing them to no bacteriophages and with that I can be I can try to figure out with genes with features are making the bacteriophage more effective. And also it's also really interesting uh, I'm also studying just proteins of the bacteriophage because bacteriophages they also have proteins that itself they can lysate the bacteria. Well, <coughs> Bacteriophages, they have proteins that allow them to inject their DNA inside the bacteria and also to break the bacterial cell wall to be released. And if we produce these proteins in the laboratory, we can just use them as antimicrobials. Those, um, and those proteins can be developed in terms of pharmaceutical industry as new replacement for antibiotics. And another advantage these proteins have is that <clears throat> the, the chances for them to, to develop resistances, like the bacteria can't, cannot develop resistances against those proteins because they target a really conserved uh, molecules within the bacteria and if the bacteria by any chance change that, the bacteria will be variable, so bacteria are not very likely to develop resistances towards these um, these phage proteins. So that's why this this is also promising. And well, actually, what I'm doing for my PhD is trying to assess like the activity of different phage proteins and also assess the activity of bacteria in different world states because during a bacterial infection bacteria can be in different metabolic states so I'm trying to assess all of that also I'm, I'm doing a comparative studies of different proteins also in the light to figure out what is making a protein to be better in terms of efficacy of killing bacteria and also like in this slide, like in the future, because well now in my second year of PhD, the future what I will also try is to try to do combinations of bacteriophages or phage proteins with conventional antibiotics because it has been seen that they have like a synergic effect. Like if we do if you do combinations, like the killing effect is much greater. It could be like really 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 efficient like killing killing bacteria and well also uh, with developing all of this for phage therapy like that it doesn't also have applications for pharmaceutical industry in terms of developing new antibacteria it also can have applications in other different industries such as food industry using bacteriophages or phage proteins as disinfectants and it will be like much safer to treat like food or beverages with phage cocktails or phage proteins rather than treating them with conventional antibiotics. So with that, like if we continue with in this line of developing new therapies based on these viruses or based on their proteins we will be able to stop this post-antibiotic era that we are heading to. And this issue of bacterial resistance will be more solved if we can more, make more improvements on phage therapy, not only in staph virus, but also in other problematic bacteria that are resistant to many different drugs um, well, that's pretty much it, that's pretty much what I'm doing, so well, if you have any questions, 
feel free to ask. And if not, thank you for your attention and have a good day. <laughs>